Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen how to import bulk data using HDL with the help of OIC integration in which we had discussed about method 1 approach that is by using import bulk data using SCM data loader invoke action in SCM cloud adapter. In this video, we are going to learn method 2 that is by uploading file to UCM then running import load data service from SCM data loader. I have already discussed how the DAT file will look like, how to create the native schema and I had also gone through this documentation on how to create the connection and use it in invoke for HDL. If you have not watched my previous video, please check out the video. I will give you the link in the card section. I have already created this integration that is import worker test 01. Like in my previous video, I am again considering the example of importing worker data that is in bulk to SCM cloud. Here I am considering my downstream application to send me the details for a worker that is in XML file that I am downloading to OIC a virtual space. I am reading that XML file, getting all the worker related data, be it a personal information, work history or the work, work relationship, all those things I am getting in ready. In your case, you might get this from services or any other application, you might orchestrate and generate this data. So you can have your logic built over here. Once I get the data, I'm going to construct the DAT file. Like how I explained in my previous video, how to generate the DAT file, how to uh, download this DAT, what are the mandatory uh, elements, mandatory attributes required, how to decide what to send, what not to send. All those details I have explained in detail in my previous video. Please check out my previous video. The link is in card section. Once we generate that DAT file, we have to zip the file and we have to upload the file to UCM. Here we are making use of SCM cloud adapter. Let me open the wizard. In the action, we have to select send files to HCM cloud. In earlier case, we were selecting this action. In this, we have to select this files to HCM cloud. Click on next. We have to select the appropriate security group and uh, doc account. Optionally, we can encrypt the file as well over here. So that's it with this wizard. And in the mapping, we have to map the reference of file that is a zip file reference as you could see over here zip file reference doc type that is a document and document title that is a file name once you uploaded the file to UCM optionally you could have this wait activity over here to wait for one minute or 30 seconds so in I'm not at it because my SCM cloud is working uh, very fast there is no delay in the request response so once it has uploaded the file to UCM server I'm running the import loaded job let me show you the wizard for this. Again, I am making use of SCM cloud adapter over here. In the action, you have to select query, create, update or delete information and select this import and load data operation from SCM data loader service. And in mapping, we have to pass the document name what we got from UCM or the content ID. As you see in the response, we are getting doc name in request we are having a content id we have to map for that and the parameter for more details you can refer the documentation okay what and all parameters you can uh, pass over here i'm closing this so again uh, as i discussed in my previous video we can track the status of the import load job that is by writing the logic over here like we had in our method one approach okay we can continuously loop over with the help of while loop and check for the import completion status whether the import job got completed or not and based on the status whether got error or success we can take appropriate actions be it sending a notification to stakeholder that saying the job got successful or updating the support team that something got errored out so like this we can import bulk data to scm cloud please like this video and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining us in this video